It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to hour number two of That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. 8 a.m. on Tuesdays means it's TBBO Tuesdays, where we highlight members of the Tampa Bay business owners and in, in studio here today in just a little bit. We'll be talking to Rashid Zahidi and also Dawson Hicks with uh, Sentinel Background Checks, and also uh, Rashid is a, a returning guest to the uh, program and also one of our our newest members of the Tampa Bay business owners. So if you're not familiar with the Tampa Bay business owners, please head over to tbbo.org to uh, learn more about the organization. As many of y'all know, that business show is now in partnership with uh, Tampa Bay business owners and uh, been working together for four or five months. And we just uh, released a, a video. I just put that out on social media just last night that shows the uh, kind of the mission or the vision that uh, I and Chris, the founder of the Tampa Bay business owners, has for the uh, Tampa Bay business community and why we uh, are working together to bring a stronger voice uh, to the uh, to the uh, community. The resources that I have paired with the resources that he has, again, is just raising more awareness for this uh, excellent uh, uh, resource that's available here in Tampa Bay, and that is the Tampa Bay Business Owners. Many different events go on monthly. Our most uh, well-known and well-attended event, the main event, is, which is the uh, first Wednesday of each month over at the uh, Center Club. That's uh, no, Next one's going to be on Wednesday, August 3rd. It's going to be on uh, Painting with a Twist. It's going to be an interview with Leslie and Marvin Gay. And so we always invite uh, people that have never attended a uh, Tampa Bay Business Owners meeting. Uh, they're welcome to attend. They have to mention the uh, radio show and request uh, attendance, or they'll need to uh, pay the uh, ticket cost over there at uh, tbbo.org on the events page. But if you heard it on the radio show and you've never attended a TBBO event, you are welcome to uh, check that out. But if you're a business owner, we'd really like to invite you to uh, to uh, you know, consider joining Tampa Bay Business Owners. You'll be helping support that business show and also begin to learn and collaborate with your fellow business owner peers, of which there are many and many accomplished uh, professionals and entrepreneurs at the very, uh, very healthy, collaborative uh, business community here in Tampa Bay. And again, and learn more over at tbbo.org. Chris Kermitzos, the founder of the organization, joins me on the phone line as well. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning, Jamie. Hey, did you catch the uh, video? I got the video uploaded uh, just last night on uh, that uh, Neil put together for us. What do you think of the video? Tell us a little bit about what your thoughts of that are. Oh, I really, uh, I think it's a necessary video that talks about your vision, my vision, how we came together, and how we're, we're business partners and kind of what we're what we're doing to impact the community i think it was very necessary and i'm just uh glad that neil did such an amazing job putting together our you know interviews and kind of weaving it together into a story yeah and neil galarte wild style media and also a member of tampa bay business owners we be began putting together a, a movie or a little video clip it's almost like four or five minutes uh about uh probably about two or three months ago and he's got us some amazing shots it's in 4k video uh, we got drone footage over tampa bay we got you know my input we got chris's input we released it up on uh, social media last night so we encourage all of our listeners to view and share and encourage engagement on the uh, video because we really want to you know raise awareness that tampa bay business owners and that business show is a resource and something that a business community should get involved in me and chris have worked very hard on building up uh, these two brands for the business owner community and that's who we are here to serve chris how would you say i know listen i, I completely agree i mean you know, there's nothing that uh, you said that i would disagree with i uh um a uh, funny side story. Uh, I'm I'm going to be filming the little uh, uh, Chinese girl that's a podcaster in uh, Tampa, in St. Pete today. And uh, I was just texting her back and forth. And, uh, you know, this is for the movie we're making about podcasting. And she said to me, thank you for filming me in St. Pete. I'm like, uh, I don't know why that's a big deal. This girl's traveling the country. Turns out she, uh, she fell in love with another person named Omar who lives out of a van. And he's chosen Tampa Bay to live in this area. So I guess uh, her and Omar are shacking up, and it wouldn't have happened if I didn't ask her to film her in the Tampa Bay area. So these are the connections we make. You know? Is that is that the van down by the river? <laughs> I, that's, that's uh, you know, that's, uh, I can't tell you. Anytime you hear someone lives out of van, <laughs> beat me to the punch. <laughs> Soon as you said lives in a van, me and Josh's eyes lit right up. And like you just set us up for uh, for hey, one of our he's favorite. He's not a fat guy that does cartwheels, <laughs> is he? What the text reads, you know, the, 
Omar that lives in a van. I, I have met him, and we will travel the world. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody not familiar with that reference, that's an old Chris Farley reference from uh, SNL in the 90s. Uh, Matt Foley, a motivational speaker, care of the van down by the river. A very funny skit, and we'd miss Chris Farley. That guy in a little coat. <laughs> Chris Farley was an amazing comedian, paired so well with uh, David Spade. I could talk about uh, Chris Farley uh, uh, for hours in some of his movies. So, Chris, uh, your crowdfunding campaign uh, going on for the Messengers. Again, you're raising uh, your Put, uh, you've commissioned a film on uh, podcasting and it's called The Messengers. People can learn more about this at themessengersdoc.com and also uh, ch- check out the, the uh, trailer. And again, it's a, a film that's taking uh, kind of taking us to uh, podcasting, where it was, where it is, and where it's going to be. Tell us a little bit about your crowdfunding campaign and how people can support this mission. Uh, yeah, if you go to Indiegogo and just search The Messengers, uh, any support I, I appreciate, even if it's $5, $10, but we We've had phenomenal support. I guess I have some really great because the average dollar amount being donated for our backers is ninety-three dollars per person. Indiegogo came to kind of gave me the stats, but I'm learning a lot. So far, we're up to fifty-seven hundred dollars. Uh, our goal is to reach nineteen thousand seven hundred thirty-one dollars. Uh, so we got a, a, a long ways to go. Uh, Jamie, you and I are planning a trip uh, next next weekend. We're going to be going out to Puerto Rico. Uh, trying to dodge the Zika virus as we're um, <laughs> filming Johnny Dumas, probably one of the most famous podcasters and most successful. He just bought a multi-million dollar home uh, overlooking the water within the city pool in, in, in Puerto Rico. So I'm curious to see what he's up to, how he's working out there. And uh, it's just amazing. The whole thing is coming together really nicely. Crowdfunding, I will tell you, you have to really be... You have to be really be on it. You really have to have a list of people that are going to contribute. You have to uh, be active with your backers. You have to do updates. We actually did a podcast about us making the movie about podcasting. So that's how we communicate with people. I was going to say, what is crowdfunding? Uh, what industry or what type of cause or initiative does crowdfunding you know work well for? I mean, I've seen people you know use crowdfunding to like because they want to go to Egypt. You know, you know, throw you know fund my pay for my trip to go to Egypt or something. But you know, what does crowdfunding actually work well for? Well, now you got GoFundMe, so they will fund you. That is for anything. You can fund whatever you want. I mean, I think I saw someone wanting uh, funding for their grow house, you know, for their marijuana grow house, by the way. So they they put up a little, hey, help me fund because I need to, you know, smoke a little bit. So you'll see, you'll see, uh, it runs the gamut. But traditionally, crowdfunding is for technology projects, for film, for more of the creative arts, or something technology that could revolutionize. So there's, uh, so I, I'm watching these crowdfunding videos because I want to see who's out there. Do you know that they, they have meat for vegans that is real meat? They have what? An animal never gets killed. Like it's many, it, it, like uh, they could synthesize meat now. I mean, it's insane. No, no. So, but you're you're a big proponent of Indiegogo. Why do you like Indiegogo so much? Well, if you're doing a creative project, Indiegogo seems to be the best route. First off, I. I, I'm a firm believer if you're going to crowdfund, you better use Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or GoFundMe because people know those names. There's other uh, crowdfund uh, sites that are newer, but no one really knows their names, so that stops people from donating. So Indiegogo, since we're making an independent film, tends to lend well to that. Plus, they own the distribution arm called Distriber, which is the third-party distribution uh, outfit that distributes your film. So for me, it was a natural progression to stay with them. Now, if I hit my goal, uh, I have to pay out 5% to them. If I don't hit my goal, they take 9%. So I did what's called the flexible plan. So I get the money either way. But obviously, uh, my, my whole thing is I, I have to hit my goal. Good information and another uh, resource there. Uh, crowdfunding, uh, Indiegogo, Kickstarter, GoFundMe. Uh, if you got a business idea, try them out. Uh, Chris is doing a good job with his uh, his upcoming uh, documentary, uh, uh, The Messenger. So, Chris, as always, we appreciate the support on TBBO Tuesdays. Jamie, um, if anyone's down in St. Pete and sees me hanging around a van, come by and say hello. <laughs> Chris taking over care of the van down by the river. Chris, you you by won't the actually see Later. Chris. <laughs> I'll be filming. I'll be filming around the van down by the bay. Actually, okay. if you look for a cloud of smoke, you might see him. <laughs> Chris, yeah, exactly. Chris Kermitzo is founder of the uh, Tampa Bay uh, business owners, of which he and I are our business partners with. Learn more about that over at tbbo.org. I'm going to take a break. Coming back from the break, we'll be talking about background checks, screening, and a little hiring tips, and a little bit more about uh, HR with Rashid Zahidi and Dawson Hicks with Sentinel Background Checks. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney. Your business becomes show business. 
How many times have you said to yourself, I wish there was an app for that? Stop wishing and start making the world better. Turn your brilliant idea into a profitable business by using popcorn apps. Their affordable app design will help get your blue sky idea or proven business to the next level at a fraction of the cost of other developers. They will help you get through all the steps needed to make your thoughts become live. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million dollar business and a world changer starting today. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813 Mortgage. You drop the E and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813 641 Four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Heavy traffic on westbound I-4 from 301 to 275. Still crash off to the right-hand side just past 22nd Street, causing all these delays. Southbound 275, slow between Fowler Avenue and Hillsboro. Crash finally cleared on northbound of 50th Street near the Summit Expressway. Still have that tanker in the left-hand lane on northbound Veterans Expressway just north of Hutchinson, blocking that lane. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter at Hillsboro Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Unbound. There's a girl in El Salvador who dreams of becoming an engineer. There's an elder in Uganda who dreams of having a community to call his own. No two dreams are the same. Help one person achieve theirs at unbound.org. That's unbound.org. Today, partly sunny with a 30% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, high 92. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 78. Tomorrow, a 20% rain chance, high 93. 
You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Miss the show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Joined in studio by my co-host, Adriana Montes. She is the owner of Florida Dreams Realty in Orlando and also a... Uh, going to a law school here in the uh, Tampa region. Very accomplished uh, entrepreneur and a good friend of mine specializing in the sale of bank-owned property. So she's joining me in studio today. And every time I see Adriana, she is in a different country. And tomorrow, she's going to be back in another country tomorrow. Adriana, where are you going tomorrow? I'm going to my country, Colombia. I'll be going to an island called San Andres, which is off the Caribbean. Uh, If you're looking at our screen, you'll see it there. It's beautiful. The water and the ocean has different colors, like seven different colors of blue and green and it's just um, pristine why did you leave columbia that place looks so beautiful there you came over here like i think we we're like 18 or 19 right everybody's broke <laughs> <laughs> oh i i left when i was 18 i just had a dream so i came after the american dream and i always wanted to be safe and be able to drive my car at midnight and go eat something without being worried about being kidnapped or <laughs> still having the problem with that so i'm problems with kidnapping in columbia then yeah, it's still. So, so, <laughs> so I'm much sure better. her theme song was a little bit different than Journey. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what her theme song would be over in uh, over in Columbia, but we're glad she's here in the uh, states. Very Just accomplished. A small town girl <laughs> Just running <laughs> from drug lords. <laughs> Probably Narcos is coming up in Netflix again in August, so I'm excited about. Uh, season two. Very cool. So uh, Adriana Montes in studio here today. So if you're over in Orlando and need a realtor, she can definitely uh, help you out with that. FloridaDreamsRealty.com is her uh, website for her uh, business. Time to bring on my uh, guests for the program. I have Rashid Zahidi and Dawson Hicks, both with Sentinel Background Checks and also some of our newest members to the Tampa Bay business owners. So Rashid and Dawson, welcome to the program today. Great to be back, Jamie. So, yes, Rashid, thank you for having me. So, Rashid, you were at the program here about uh, thirty days ago or so, uh, and uh, Dawson, a new guest here uh, to the program. So, Dawson, let's let's start with uh, you on this uh, segment here. Tell me a, a little bit about Sentinel Background Checks and your involvement with the uh, company there. Oh, okay. Um, well, we uh, we're a pre-employment screening company. We um, we specialize in pre-employment and tenant screening, uh, both national and international searches. Um, my role with the company right now is I'm VP of Client Services. I'm just there to assist and serve our clients the best way possible and get feedback from them and continue to grow with them. As they grow, we want to grow with them. Now, Rashid, how, tell me how this company came, came together. You founded the company uh, when? I co-founded the company. I originally was just going to be a silent partner, but I ended up like, um, you know, jumping in um, in the end. And I ended up uh, buying uh, the other two people that I started with. And then I just uh, grew it from one individual uh, to... Actually, Dawson being my first employee, <laughs> and then on to uh, to like ten and then twelve employees, and then we use a bunch of independent okay. contractors. Your services, uh, background checks, obviously, but take me through kind of your menu of services that you have at Sentinel Background Checks. Uh, the menu is is typically the, uh, uh, the the plethora of the products that that go into a typical background check, from a social trace to a counter criminal search to a, a, a sweep of the national database. Uh, to then like customizing based on if you're hiring drivers, then you 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 will add driver motor vehicle records. If you're uh, um, hiring like say um, healthcare uh, professionals or so, you are going to do uh, credentials checks and licenses, go through a vetting process. Uh, sometimes you'll add on the education check where we double check their uh, uh, their degrees and their credentials. Uh, sometimes uh, we'll also uh, do the reference checks for you. We'll call the references, and then sometimes we'll do the drug screening. Again, depending on the uh, on what you're hiring the person for. Sometimes we add on the credit reports as well, and we also offer assessments uh, for some situations to help you kind of uh, put a little bit of a scientific uh, check into the into the interviewing process to supplement your interviewing process. Those are some of the main ones that we provide. I feel like I'm talking to Michelle Pritchett from Modern Family in Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> but Dawson, can you tell us which one of your reports is ordered the most? Oh, yes. Um, our, uh, actually, it's our, uh, our, our basic criminal package, which would consist of a, a social trace. And what that does is that actually verifies the applicant's information. Um, what it does is it takes their name, their um, social security number, and their date of birth, and it runs it through a database. And it gives us a, um, a history of their addresses. And it also allows us to verify that the social and date of birth and name that they provided matches. Um, we've actually had it where it's actually red flagged some people 
um, that they might have actually had their identity stolen. Because wow. if, if their uh, social shows up with many different names or many different addresses where they didn't live, um, this is a good red flag right off the beginning. This is where we start all of our initial searches. What responsibility do you have when you run a, uh, a your social check on somebody and you find out they're wanted for something or maybe they're a criminal? I mean, you got to pick up the phone and call law enforcement at that point, do you not? I mean, and does that uh, situation ever arise where you have these types of things come up? Um, well, uh, that's a great question. It's uh, um, typically... The first thing is obviously the, the employer is to, is, to, is to help them navigate this and to make sure that they do what they need to do. And in some instances, you can track down that person. And in some instances, you can't. And obviously, there are so many uh, horror stories that, uh, that people have actually hired someone and uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't realize that uh, the person that they hired is actually gave them a fake identity. Uh, so... Um, how easy Definitely, though is like when we find that out obviously like we have to let uh, somebody know as soon as as possible if, if that person is still i mean still how around. easy is it to assume uh, assume some of these identity i'll be all the way down to like the social security number i mean is it, I, obviously identity theft is one of the fastest growing crimes out there if not the fastest growing crime out there you know what makes this uh, so easy in our environment okay yeah. well i think also you know we're in an information you know society right now so a lot of people might not have the proper safeguards to, to um, safeguard their information. A lot of people are using their phones on their app, you know, applications on their phones for banking, for keeping um, personal records. Nobody remembers anything anymore. I couldn't tell you, you know, except for my childhood phone number, I couldn't tell you my wife's cell phone number. I have to keep looking at it in my cell phone. So when we're using electronic devices to use and we're leaving Bluetooth open and we're using Wi-Fi networks in pu public areas, People are skimming those things, just like at the gas pumps. But um, just like, um, just to give a quick reference, actually, we have a client that had given me a horror story once where an applicant actually used their father's um, social and date of birth and information because they shared the same name. Wow. And this was actually caught during the background screening process and cost the company um, several hundred thousands of dollars wow. in fraudulent hiring. I had a friend whose uh, sister uh, used her ID and gave it to uh, the cops in, in a, a traffic accident because they looked so similar. The cop but you know, believed it was the uh, sister and got her yeah. in all kinds of issues. <laughs> I heard of a story that... Uh, yeah, I want to hear you. Yeah, share yeah, that with us. Someone then. like stole... Um, uh, there was this lady who stole the identity of, an, of another lady so she can go and deliver her baby at, at the hospital what? and leave the other lady basically to answer for the bills. Um, so <laughs> that's another example of just like some crazy stuff that happens with with identity theft. And then actually, like I, I've done so many shows talking about that, uh, mainly, especially around tax time. And it usually boils down to a couple of things that I tell people like, um, you know, your print information, secure it under lock and key or shred it. Don't leave it laying around the, the mail incoming or outgoing. It's not going into a P.O. box or something. Make sure you don't just put it out there, stuff with your social security and such, and raise the flag for crooks to just come and get it off your mailbox. And also, if you're using stuff online or you're doing your taxes online, make sure you're using a secure connection. Make sure your computer is up to date. Be aware of shoulder surfing when people look in behind you. And sometimes I've heard people like in a public setting or in a doctor's office, what's your social? And then they... They spell it out, right, you know, with a room full of people. They don't know who's taking it down. Yeah. Uh, so I say to people, like, in electronic form, in verbal form, and in print form, you have to make sure you secure your information under lock and key. When you're done with it, just shred it. Don't leave it laying around for for someone to That's find That's a good it. point. When somebody asks for your social security number in an office setting, you should write it down, probably, and then hand it over to make sure that yes, you hold that's, that back. Yes, that's a, a great practice. And I, think I was works. reading that number one, uh, identity stolen is driver's license, and then number, number one is social security, and number two is driver's license. Yes, and then also to, to Rashid's point, um, there was actually a lady locally um, over the last couple of years that um, she actually got in trouble with the IRS for doing, um, you know, she got hundreds of thousands of dollars in uh, fake uh, fraudulent tax returns because they were just going to people's mailboxes and stealing information right there. People get stuff mailed to their house all the time, and it's just wide open for anybody to take. So when that happens, are you supposed to report to authorities or just the person who ordered the report? He unleashes the Shermanator <laughs> up there on the lot video stream. So. Uh, a lot of times um, we, we're limited on what we can 
we can tell people, but we have to stay compliant with certain government regulations. But we definitely do provide our employees with as much information as we can. Good information. We got a lot more with uh, Rashid and Dawson when we uh, come back from the break. Currently talking again to Rashid Zahidi, CEO of Sentinel Background Checks, along with the Vice President of Client Services, Dawson Hicks. Learn more about them, sbchecks.com. You're listening to the TBBO Tuesdays edition of That Business Show. Jamie Maloney, your business becomes show business. Hi, I'm Kelly Ham from Dillmeyer Ham Consulting. Did you know that one of the biggest challenges that leaders face is getting their employees to be engaged, motivated, and producing amazing business results? At Dillmeyer Ham Consulting, we'll help you transform your workforce culture from one that might be underperforming, maybe mediocre, to achieving amazing business results. You see, we realize that your workforce culture is equally as important as your business plan and your business strategy. The two must be aligned in order for you to reach your desired business and financial goals. Carol. Um, hey, Jim. I just got this uh, this plan that could really help with our process here. Okay, why don't you just have a seat and let's go over it. Let us help you transform your workforce culture by leveraging your most important assets, your people. I wanna know what's going on in your organization. Let us help you transform your workforce culture. Let's have a conversation. I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there and I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. World Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Someone you know is suffering from Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. They're dealing with excruciating pain and days when they won't be able to get out of bed. Help someone you know and support the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America at ccfa.org. <laughs> 1250 Winds Weather Center forecast, low 90s for the high this afternoon under partly sunny skies. 40% chance of those scattered showers kicking up today and upper 70s for the low. 40% chance of rain tomorrow, a bit warmer, low mid 90s, down to 30% chance of showers each day by the end of the week. Impact Radio 1250 Winds WHNZ. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Currently talking to Rashid Zahidi, CEO of Sentinel Background Checks, alongside his Vice President of Client Services, Dawson Hicks. Learn more about them at sbchecks.com. So I run a real estate company and one of my services is property management. So what kind of um, services or what kind of products can you offer property managers? Um, well, Adriana, the, the, uh, some of the products apply like the criminal research depending on, on the property and the policy. And sometimes one of the common, one of the common products is the eviction search and then also a credit report, uh, either that or a tenant scorecard is one of the ways to go about it. Obviously, if you wanna, if you wanna go deeper, you wanna do the actual credit report with the score and all, but that requires uh, uh, more paperwork uh, on your part, and then you, we have to go through a vetting process to make sure 
uh, that we inspect your offices, that they're compliant before we can provide you with credit reports. However, the alternate is like um, a tenant scorecards, which take a bunch of products like the eviction surge, like the history of the person, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, their address history and uh, what's being reported on them and maybe civil, uh, civil courts kind of search. And then that will give you a scorecard that will give you um, uh, and inf you help you make an informed decision basically on that tenant but that depends obviously on how on how stringent your policies are and how big the you know the establishment is and if there are any spe specific covenants or or policies great services for a property manager we always screen for evictions and any kind of felonies make sure that we provide the best um, tenants for our landlords so yes. how connected are the different databases, um, you know, in our country? And, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, you do some searches on Google, you can pull up some basic stuff. But I mean, you get in the background checks, you, you search these different databases. But I mean, how, how connected is everything right now? Uh, well, it can be like uh, like going on a wild goose chase <laughs> if you don't know if you don't know where where to go. For instance, and, just like arrest records, is there a central place that you could go to see if this person has ever been arrested at, at all the the facilities, all the jails report to? Uh, th their Facebook page, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is uh, <laughs> probably the faster way, most direct way to go, right? Uh, excuse me. What um, what happens is that like it's it's divided by jurisdictions. Uh, so let's say okay, our local jurisdiction. So if you go to the uh, Hillsborough County uh, Sheriff's uh, website, so you can see arrest records there, right? And then you have to go to the Pinellas one to see their arrest records, right? right. right? Or, or you can you can go with DFDLE and pay a fee, and then you can you can do that. But then you have to go do that for every state, and then you have to see for each state it's different. For some, it's you have to go. You have a few county sheriffs websites or jail, uh, county jail websites where you can double check that. For some, it's uh, it's the state police. For some, there is a bureau of investigation. So it's not the same all across the board. And then also reporting to a central, even a state repository, doesn't happen consistently and doesn't happen in a timely fashion. Don't those um, only go back a certain amount of time, like what, like five or six years or something like that? So what if what if it's a conviction that happened 15 years ago? Or how are you, how would you be able to find that out? Uh, it depends on the jurisdiction because um, there is two sides to it. There is whether you you need to be compliant with the FCRA, the, the Federal Credit Reporting Act, which typically mandates for most situations that you don't go beyond seven years unless you're you're um, hiring someone who will work with the vulnerable or in a high sensitive situation then you may get some exceptions to be able to go beyond that into 10 and 15 years and also it may depend on the severity of the uh, of the uh, violation uh, or the crime that will determine whether you can use it or not but however finding it depends on the jurisdiction because there's some of them you can readily find it there are some of them you have you have to go into the archives and sometimes we're talking physical files and, and boxes in in, in so, uh, and I mean we talk to people sometimes in Mississippi or Kentucky or Louisiana where our researcher has to go into some attic somewhere to try and pull the, the records <laughs> yeah there's actually some courts in Louisiana that they don't even have a computer in the in the court they actually and they're at the back of a lime rock road in the middle of a swamp and uh believe it or not <laughs> they actually, like i know well i'm well aware of all of that i just came back from west virginia yeah and when you drive out there i mean it, it takes a while to get out there for one thing and then you have to search through all these I thought that only happens dockets. in colombia now it happens in west virginia no, just, just, <laughs> <laughs> but uh to answer your original question jamie um there are some tools and entities we c we use to try to locate as much as we can and try to combine those networks together there are some tools out there but once again they're not a hundred percent accurate and doing something like a google or or even some kind of search engine they're not all linked together and as rashid said um, a lot of those things are not reported to consistently and not updated so you might not you might have inaccurate or missing information on there and going back to our previous segment, we were talking about identity theft. So if you can tell our listeners some of the tips that they can have and, or they can do to avoid identity theft, and if it happens, what to do? Uh, sure, Adrienne. In, in addition to what um, I mentioned earlier, uh, you need to monitor your reports. Uh, everybody now is entitled to a free uh, credit report once a year from each one of the main credit reporting agencies. And I usually recommend to people that they stagger them. So because you can get one one from each once a year, I usually recommend you get one, say, for Experian, like the first three months, and in the next three months, you get the one from Equifax, and then, you know, before the end of the year, you get one from TransUnion. That way, you're kind of spread them out. This is if you didn't want to invest in one of these credit monitoring uh, services. 
And um, I think the one thing that uh, you, you you asked earlier, we didn't have enough time to get into, is that what what happens if if, if someone discovers that they're a victim of identity theft? And obviously, what you want to do is first you want to notify all the credit reporting agencies, or, or typically, I think if you notify one, they will notify the others, and you want to put a freeze on your report and an, and a fraud alert, so no, no nobody else can take any, any additional credit under your name. And then, uh, so they will check with you each time that someone asks for credit. And then you will need to notify the local law enforcement because you need to have that report because when you're disputing something, uh, creditors uh, will ask you to show that report that you've reported that to law enforcement. And then also the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, you want to notify them. And then in some instances, uh, you know, the IRS, if it involves tax, uh, t tax uh, as well, uh, tax fraud, because they need to give you an additional pin uh, to double check that it's you. And then, of course, so you can start getting off the hook um, on the uh, maybe the fraudulent refunds that these people may have claimed under your name. Uh, so these are some of the tips that uh, that uh, uh, hopefully in the unfortunate event uh, that uh, you can take uh, if it happens to you. We hope it never happens to anybody, but unfortunately, in reality, it, it still happens. And we have a very important question from my single friends. They want to know if they can use this for their dating purposes. <laughs> <laughs> who's that looking at you like, who should that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, here is the thing, is that like th there is uh, two types of background checks. There is those that you, you do with consent uh, of the individual. And then that gives you basically the, the carte blanche to do a lot of these different things um, without getting into legal trouble. And then there is these that you can do uh, basically scouring the public records and that doesn't require any special consent because it's public records and it's called that for a reason and anybody can look at it. Um, so you can do some of your own sleuthing if you want and then <laughs> where you can hire a PI to do that for you. Uh, but there are there are services that do that but they're separate from what we do because we, we we need to be compliant with the fcra and the eoc rules and regulations uh so we don't dabble into those but they are available uh but you have to know what uh which one you're going with because some of them just recycle the the, the free information that's available online and resell it to you which you could probably just check out yourself by doing some of those things we talked about earlier like the county sheriff's arrest records and um uh, county clerks like some of the ones like Hillsboro or so. Or just put their name uh, into Google. That works pretty well, too. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely supplement that. And you can, uh, if you know how to manipulate Google searches and put it in quotes and add some other search variables to it, like combined with fraud or combined with crime or combined with assault uh, or any other thing you can think of. And then that, that helps uh, Google actually put up uh, a few different things. But social media, I mean, we cannot underestimate oh, social he media. He ruined my joke. We, I was going to say, that's a, we, great, <laughs> that's a great run on sentence there. <laughs> <laughs> but what you really mean is just creep their Facebook, right? <laughs> well, I'm a stalker. You know, Josh, I think we talked about this a little bit last time. It's fair game. Like, if you put it out there, and these this people need to keep in mind, if you put it out there, it's fair game. I mean, it's um, it's out there for everybody to uh, to see. And you can yeah. create, and for yourself, too, a good tip, create Google Alerts for yourself. So when stuff does hit uh, social media, or I should say the Internet, uh, for yourself, or maybe somebody that you're stalking, yeah. you can know about it there on uh, social media. Just never put anything out there that you're not prepared to come back and haunt you later. Right, and there's no way to get rid of some of that stuff out there. So sure. so your services at Sentinel Background Checks, uh, who is the uh, who is your typical uh, niche client that you serve? Um, well, t typically, uh, second stage companies is is uh, some of the people that uh, that we serve. Uh, we serve anybody who employs uh, technically, and we're equipped to do that. Uh, we have like transportation companies, we have moving companies, we have uh, credit unions, uh, we have um, uh, -wives. retirement homes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say, John? <laughs> Nosy ex wives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got you know, we we have like. Um, uh, typically, like anything from second stage to the fast, fast growing companies, uh, up to some Fortune 500 and Fortune 1, Fortune 1000 companies as well. And then, what you kind of just are on retainer for that company every time they have a new hire, they boom, they got an account with a SB or set of background checks, they can just come to you, boom, through an online system or something. How's that work? Yeah, once we get through the initial vetting process, uh, then we set them up, and then we have a few different options. Like uh, some of them are integrated directly uh, with our system, and the information flows back and forth securely between the two systems and some of them that don't have that software or that capability are able to log in securely into our system and submit their requests and then when the results are 
ready, they are notified, and then they can log in securely again and retrieve that. And those who don't have either one of those capabilities are just reach out to us because one of the distinguishing uh, factors with us is we like to do uh, white glove type of service uh, because a lot of the customers or clients that came to us from uh, some of the bigger companies, they got fed up with being treated as a number uh, or being, uh, we always say at our company, you're caller number one because some of the people that have come to us they they would call and then they would be routed through some call tree and then they would get frustrated they would leave a, a message and sometimes they would get a call back three days later sometimes they won't uh so so we pride ourselves in being able to offer them that option as well to just reach out to us directly and we'll help and we'll help them out because sometimes people also uh, they don't know what all of this entails and how to be compliant. So we go above and beyond in, in, in what we call the value add, and we provide them with some additional documents like consent forms, the proper way to make sure that your policies are consistent so you're not violating any Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, uh, you know, rules. You're not violating any FCRA rules. And this requires for you to do, to do this with the right approach, the right forms, and to do it consistently. And you cannot cherry pick. You cannot do something for one right person and do something else for another because that opens up the door uh, for uh, um, can, for uh, can discrimination somebody, lawsuits. Can somebody just an entry level entrepreneur maybe you just need to get screened one person who's listening right now can you help somebody just with like a solo background check who may be listening right now too? Uh, yes that's a great question Jamie. We actually deal with a lot of um, small businesses that are starting to grow they're on the cusp of, of launching to the next level and maybe they're looking to hire their first you know batch of employees right. and they really don't know where to start and the good thing about our company is we don't charge the big set setup fees. We don't have the monthly minimums that a lot of the large companies do nationwide. And what that allows a small business to do is grow without having to meet those minimums that the larger companies require. They're not a Walmart. They're not a big company. They're not going to have thousands and hundreds of thousands of employees and applications a year. So we're there to cater to their service, give them the, the supreme service that they need, just like the big companies, to make sure they're staying compliant and start off on the right foot as they're starting to grow their business. How would you recommend to somebody listening right now that's in need of some uh, background uh, screening services get in touch with you? SBchecks.com is your website, but you know how would they? What's the best way to go about to communicate? I would say with just your pick company? up the phone and give us a call. Number eight 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 seven two five two five three five. They can reach me directly at extension one zero four if they like. One more time, a little bit slower no. for the audience. Eight 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 seven two five two five three five all right and we'll get that up on the show recap as well and you can also visit sbchecks.com for more information on their services got another segment here we got to hit a break here currently talking to rashid zahidi ceo of sentinel background checks alongside his vice president of client services dawson hicks you're listening to the tbbo tuesday's edition of that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers communicate among teams and collaborate with partners even with advances in technology you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Attention medical professionals. Have you heard the Tampa Bay will become the first certified wellness district in the country? Thanks to Jeff Fennick's revitalization of Channel Sign. The Dr. Whisperer wants to streamline your efforts and preparation. So when you're ready to ignite your practice, use the Dr. Whisperer's public relations expertise to spread the word. Use the Dr. Whisperer to motivate your staff. And use the Dr. Whisperer to recruit and secure leaders within your practice. Call the Dr. Whisperer today at 727-420-2481 or visit thedrwhisperer.com where they write your prescription for success. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. 
She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941 201 4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855-VEIN-911. That's 855 855- 834-6911 to book your free consultation. Vein 911. We will help you feel great again. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Hey, good morning. As we take a look at the roads around Tampa Bay, slow traffic on westbound I-4 from before 301 to 50th Street, northbound 275 from midspan on the Howard Franklin Bridge into West Shore. Southbound side of the Veterans Expressway, typical delays south of Gun Highway to around Waters, northbound delays North of Hutchinson, disabled semi in the left-hand lane there. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson, Urich, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Does your child struggle to concentrate and pay attention? What looks like ADD or autism may actually be caused by lead poisoning. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can cause permanent brain damage. Find out how to protect your family. Go to leadsafeamerica.org. Today, partly sunny with a 30% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, high 92. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 78. Tomorrow, a 20% rain chance, high 93. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Alongside my co-host, uh, co-host Adriana Montes with Florida Dreams Realty, specializing in the sale of bank-owned properties, but can also help you with uh, general real estate services as well over in Orlando. Learn more about her over at floridadreamsrealty.com and also in studio with Rashid Zahidi, CEO of Sentinel Background Checks, alongside Dawson Hicks, Vice President of Client Services. Rashid, uh, another good resource uh, that you're a member of in the uh, area, uh, EO, Entrepreneurial Organization. Tell the uh, listening audience about this. Yes, absolutely. EO, which stands for Entrepreneur Organization. I'm a part of the local chapter, which is the Tampa Bay area chapter. And then within the chapter, we have a few forums, which is basically uh, a few round tables. So in my, in my forum, that's within the chapter. I have um, five other CEOs, and we get together once a month. And the whole the whole idea with with EO, uh, which is uh, an organization uh, for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs, um, and the goal uh, is to to learn and grow uh, through peer to peer learning. So we do a lot of experience share. And as the adage goes, like smart smart people learn from their mis- mistakes, smarter people learn from others' mistakes. So we do a lot of experience share. So um, so we can uh, we can leverage that, and then it's also part of the. Uh, the then there is the regional, uh, the regional area, which goes all up, uh, you know, all up the uh, the U.S. And then we got the mid the mid uh, area, and then we got the western uh, region. Then you got the global chapters. 
Uh, so we do a lot of uh, uh, big events, a lot of learning events, uh, a lot of fun events, a lot of once in a lifetime experiences. And I think I spoke to you before about having dinner with the Waz Wozniak, mm -hmm. like yeah. um, you know, a few months back. Uh, in yeah, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of uh, Apple. A lot yes, people, correct. A lot of people yes. don't realize that. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we, we had jobs. dinner with him. We spent a few hours with him, and, and that just, was as a result of your relationship with EO. Yes, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then also, I was able to have some once in a lifetime experiences, even while I was overseas for the global conference. I mean, I'm invited to an old, like, um, Sultan's Palace in, in Turkey, and I was invited to have lunch at uh, Buckingham Palace in, in London. I couldn't make that one because of my schedule, but it was there for me to, to go and experience it if I wanted to. And then we've had instances where uh, you get um, received by uh, dignit dignitaries or prime mm -hmm. ministers in some areas. So it's a very well-connected, uh, you know, organization in that regard. Uh, but it's uh, it, it, mostly it's the learning. It's the learning and and the it's growing. for upper level entrepreneurs. You gotta have a seven figure income to uh, be right. A member yes, of that. you have to. It's by invite. Uh, typically, it's by invite only, and you have to have at least uh, one million in revenue and your company that is and then you have to be either a, a, a partner or a member that that cannot be fired from the company basically an owner or, right or it's for i mean like i uh you know run t uh, tbbo alongside chris and i always say it's more for entry level to mid-level entrepreneur but then when you get to that seven figure income then you need a different uh, set of resources the networking is all the same but in terms of the education entrepreneur organization helps you with that level of the business correct? right yeah i mean because there's there's so many so many organizations obviously there are ones for different uh, types and then levels and ceos and specialties and mm -hmm. things like that so that's what what makes that one a little bit different and anybody who likes to be considered for membership can reach out can reach out to me you know my information is on the show card um and then i'll put them in touch with the right person and i'll put that up on the uh, like show recap as well over on the uh, homepage of uh, tampa bay radio.com you mentioned you had a uh, dinner with a uh, steve wozniak uh one of the original founders of uh, apple alongside a uh, steve jobs what was that like sitting alongside him did he talk a lot did he open up a kind of a little bit about his uh, early years with steve jobs it, it was great until joe friday showed up and broke it all up <laughs> <laughs> with their secret you know, society <laughs> It was, it was like it was kind of surreal in a way, but it, it was it was amazing because I mean it's like um, you know there so he's like sitting like just like Dawson sitting right next to me sitting right next to me and then he's had this this uh, kind of uh, contraption of a watch. Uh, because he's he's a geek. I mean, he's like uh, had a he calculator watch it. still. <laughs> yes, and, and uh, yeah, and uh, you know, he talked about it a lot, and he was very open about you know all the stuff that was going on. We talked about the movies that have been made and what his opinion is about them. We talked about like the uh, the behind the scenes, like uh, his 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 take on the whole thing, and. Um, his relationship uh, with Steve Jobs. And he was very open. He was very candid, and. Um, you know, he shared all the, his experiences, and he was just talking, just like, just like anybody else would sit and have com a conversation with you. That's awesome. He didn't have like a booming voice that seemed like it came from the clouds or anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all. That's what I tell people. Yeah, all the time. we didn't we're know all, what to expect. <laughs> we're all humans, you know, no matter how accomplished we are. I'm yeah. sure that was like a high school reunion for Jamie. Everybody <laughs> wanted to talk to him. How did that go? <laughs> it went uh, pretty uh, pretty well. Yeah, I just returned from my 20-year uh, high school reunion. So, yeah, everybody was oh, interested in my radio show. She, I guess she didn't I was... get to see the cool Kohler boombox. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah. I talked about, <laughs> do you have that picture uh, yeah, still? Yeah, 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 throw that out there here, Audra. <laughs> take a look at this. This is what you get in West Virginia. This is West Virginia ingenuity right here. Our DJ couldn't make it to uh, the uh, party, and so we had to improvise. We had no uh, music. So my uh, good friend, uh, Jake Gooden, from uh, back in the uh, baseball days uh, shows up with a uh, beer cooler turned into wow. a uh, speaker box <laughs> and it's a uh, basically uh, yeah he had speakers on the outside of the uh, box and on the inside was a amplifier and uh, a battery and a fuse and uh, you plug your iphone into this thing and it uh, was uh, uh, was the life of the uh, party josh you find that over there or not there, there we go, is. right there. There's wow. the speaker box if you're watching on the uh, Tampa Bay Radio live feed. And then the uh, next picture, throw it up there uh, on the inside. I, got, I don't have the you don't have the other picture. <laughs> it could be like a big seller. You know, I, I'm waiting for that to be commercialized. <laughs> that's what I, No, I told you. That's what I, I took a picture of it, and I'm going to pitch it at one million cups here eventually. But I know. Put, we said that the Bucks fans would love it. Yeah, open it up the there. we got an amplifier, a battery, a fuse. Uh, so it's a portable beer cooler. Plug in your phone, and it turns into it a... It comes uh, with its own goat to haul it around. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, that's, that's what you get up in West Virginia. 
Virginia there. West Virginia, yeah. true. I need to make it there. But it's beautiful Redneck up there, though. It is, yeah. it is. A whole other environment, though, a lot different than Tampa Bay. Yeah. Well, we got to wrap up another uh, great show. So thank you to my co host, uh, Adriana Montes with Florida Dreams Realty, and also thank Rashid you. Zahidi and Daza Hicks with Sentinel Background Checks. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. And learn more about them over at sbchecks.com. The proceeding was a commercial program paid for by Maloney Productions. The opinions, viewpoint. Thank you.